Professor Shandeep Kumar Chakraborty was born in Malda town on 15th November 1958. His parents are Sri Vijay Bhushan Chakraborty and Srimati Renuka Chakraborty. A bright student since the childhood, Shandeep used to have his laboratory at home even when he was a school student where he would spend time doing various experiments outside his school hours. After his college days at RK Mission Narendrapur and MSc days at Indian Institute of Technology Kanpur he went to the University of Chicago for PhD work and then to California Institute of Technology as a Tollman fellow After a stint of a year at ICTP Italy he joined Tata Institute of Fundamental Research In the 1990s during the centenary celebration a professor M N Saha and professor S N Bose he was invited by the director of S N Bose National Center for Basic Sciences professor Chanchol Kumar Mojumdar to revive astrophysics research activities in eastern india with professor Mojumdar he founded Indian Center for Space Physics or ICSP in 1999 and let it grow in a house purchased by him A new building will soon be constructed on the eastern bypass and the institute will move there in future. On his 60th birthday a book on his work was released and the foundation stone of a new building on eastern bypass was laid. This huge 38000 square foot edifice will be the hub of space research related activities in future in the eastern part of India. During his career Professor S K Chakraborty interacted with many luminaries and wrote scientific articles with some of them among them are Subramanian Chandrasekhar Robert Garosh William David Arnett Roy Kerr Kip Thorn Rashid Sunayev Lev Titarchuk Marek Abramovich Remo Rafini Ricardo Giacconi to name a few In the early days of his career he concentrated on relativistic astrophysics around black holes especially on transonic accretion flows and their spectral and timing properties As a senior research scientist at NASA Goddard Space Flight Center he and Russian mathematician Lev Titarchuk completed a paper studying radiative properties of his transonic flow solution which defines the way the spectral properties of compact objects should be studied these solutions are now regularly used to determine evolution of accretion flow parameters and to obtain masses of black holes later he diversified to physics of the ionosphere astrochemistry and instrumentation balloon bone studies and optical astronomy in ionospheric physics he concentrated on treating the earth's ionosphere as a gigantic detector and studied perturbations of very low frequency radio wave propagation in the earth ionosphere wave guide In astrochemistry he and his wife Shonali wrote the first paper two decades ago on quantitative estimate of prebiotic molecules such as DNA constituents amino acids from hydrodynamic and chemical evolutions which is followed today more rigorously as a co-principal investigator of a project headed by professor AR Rao of TIFR he constructed the longest x-ray beam to test and evaluate RT2 payloads at ICSP which were flown in Russian satellite Corona's photon His visit to Space Research Institute in Moscow during Golden Jubilee celebration of Sputnik inspired him to start his own space program with small balloons techniques of which were totally developed indigenously at ICSP Today 
This is the best low-cost stratospheric balloon program in the world in which more than 100 missions have been completed. And very exciting data of cosmic rays, X-rays from compact objects and the Sun are gathered from a height of 40 to 42 kilometers. Lift off! Lift off! To carry out VLF observations to predict earthquakes, he started the Ionospheric and Earthquake Research Center in a remote village in Medinipur, about 100 kilometers away from Kolkata. A branch was also created in Malda town where VLF studies are made. In order to have optical telescope facility in eastern India, Shondip installed two small sized 0.25 meter and 0.61 meter telescopes named by him as Orundhuti and Boshishto at Medinipur branch of ICSP. Among many other research works, one might mention the one on the thickness of Saturn's ring written three decades ago which is still being considered one of the earliest ones. He was the first individual to suggest GRBs to be the birth cry of black holes and extreme mass ratio binary black holes emitting gravitational waves in presence of accretion flow more than two decades ago. Shondeep has supervised about 50 PhD students, about 40 of whom have completed their thesis and the rest are at various stages of training. Most of these doctorates are now at various national and international institutes contributing to the subject in their own capacity. He has published about 300 research papers in international journals, a similar number in conference proceedings, written or edited several books. Last several years, he remains the highest cited astrophysicist in India. Chandip received many awards and recognitions and has been a member of several societies. More recently, he has received Bongo Rotno from the state government and honorary DSC degree 
from the University of Gourbongo. He has visited research institutes in about 50 countries of the world, often in the capacity of a visiting faculty. In order to spread the excitements of space research to the masses, Shondeep tirelessly travels all the places. Through ICSP, he organized district-wise space science symposia in all the districts of West Bengal, each attended by hundreds of young and bright students to hear him and his students and colleagues. He also ensured that participants of each district in his telescope making workshop actually gets a small telescope for sky watching. Thousands participated in space science quiz competitions. Shondeep loves nature and is an avid photographer. He has taken photos of thousands of birds and animals throughout the world. But the highlight was his solo driving through thousands of kilometers in jungles of Kruger National Park for about four days, taking only a GPS device to find something new and exciting, something new for him. For him, every species is as significant as human being. Perhaps more. Since they survived for millions of years fighting through raw elements of nature. In a recent survey by Stanford University, Sandeep has been found to be the topmost astrophysicist of India and is among the top 1.4% in the world ranking. In another survey, Sandeep was found to be one of the top most 10 scientists in India today. Sondeep has been unfolding the mysteries of the universe at a fundamental level in various branches and at the same time creating world-class institutes such as Indian Center for Space Physics. Only future will tell what else he is up to.